Hello everyone, and welcome back to Township Town. As far as I can tell, when I jumped into the server today, nobody was on, so we have the whole place to ourselves. Um, okay, so today, you guys remember, last episode, we were able to get ourselves a hold of every piece of leather that we needed in order to make ourselves a large bag. So that's exactly what we're going to do today, but it's not the only thing we're going to do today, because that shouldn't last too long, hopefully, and I really hope I don't damage it. Because apparently, once you break that leather, it's going to be forever before you find something else. So, I'm going to have to jump into that. And then, I think we're going to have to get ourselves a little bit more organised. So obviously, we're going to have a lot more space. It won't be a 3x3 three three like this with the pockets. We're going to have a 4x4 four four plus additional 4 spacing around the top of the, the sides. And, um, yeah, so I guess we could just start off with that and figure out where to go from that point. Let's go ahead. And head on over. Things in here. Oh my goodness. Um, excuse me. Why is there so much crystal down here? I'll take it. All right, so we need the rest. What? There we go. Here we are. I'm going to assume that's 13 buckles, 9 leather pieces, 3 large leather, and 1 leather roll. Okay, that's what it looks to be. So we're going to have to get our hands on leather. And we're getting pretty close on buckles, so I think we're just going to smelt down the rest of our metal here. Uh, make the rest of the buckles. Find out where to get some extra piece of leather if we want to go for dark. I probably do. I think I will. And I think we have the rest of the pieces, so we should be good. That is my gold hammer. It's okay. Hopefully a last procedure for this. So kind of the situation is because um, the first time I played... Um, first time I got myself a large bag when I was playing on my other... The other server that I'm on. I, uh, I almost broke one of the leather. The leather snapped a little bit and somebody noticed. But luckily it was well fixed enough. So it didn't break and it was full. I was able to take off the rack and be able to use it, but when you get to try building this big boy, it's kind of difficult because you you don't know exactly how well it's going to go. I need to get over here so I can... I need to get over there, that way I can um, get to some more leather stuff, but I, I guess we can't. Every time the server resets, it resets everything, so all the bridges are golden, all the... Um, Crafting stuff is out of the way, and you obviously saw we were in back in there, maybe, in the crafting room, a crafting building down here. Only one of the one of the building stations was open. It's because everybody needs to rebuild everything that there is. So I don't know if they're going to do another server wipe on this, but let's hope that it's not for a while. Hi, I see you kept it. For yourself. For yourself for what? I do not. Oh, is the is the thing not other way either? Is it back down to the basic the basic furnace? Ah, man, we're gonna be busy in this run through. I wonder if the forest over here is open. It's probably not, but luckily we have the climbing ability. So I think. Wait. Well, we're on the other side now. That was easy. Cracked open this bad boy. This is exactly what we're looking for. I don't know if we, we probably just want some leather straps out of this. Okay, well, since this is definitely the way to do it, I'll keep searching around here and hopefully find the rest. I don't remember how many we need, probably 13? We'll go up to 20 just in case. Um, that being so, so that means you cut into... Th you cut into three, I believe. Three or four, so we're going to need at least 
5 to 7. 5 to 7 black leather. Man, I tell you, this bag is, is definitely expensive, but it's well worth because we're going to have so much more. We will be encumbered more, but I think we can find some alternatives to that. So here we are. This is the big bag. You guys have probably seen other people have it, but this is exactly what we came here for. And now we just need to make a bunch of strips. And um Yeah, so we got our buckles, we got our strips. Okay, so basically I want you guys to have a really good view. I'm gonna be sure that I keep this in line with the camera for as long as I can. Um, but we're going to be very safe for this because this is dangerous. If we mess this up once, we're going to have to go find ourselves another leather. We should start now. Okay. Um, that was the leather piece that just broke. See, the part of it that doesn't make any sense when it comes to this bag is the fact that the leather is so finicky. I'm using, uh, if if you guys probably didn't notice, the gold hammer that I've been using is the softest, softest metal you could forge with. So the fact that it broke immediately after installing the first nail it really just it really throws it under the bus so what we're actually going to have to do is to dismantle this entire thing now because we can't afford to have any more pieces lost hey grey wolf i don't know if they can hear me mate I, I see you have yourself a large leather bag there. Would you happen to have any large leather? No, God, no. If I had more large leather, I would have sold it ages ago. Okay. Sorry. All right. Good Thank you, there. Yeah, I just need one more. Mine broke last time I was trying to build it. Excuse okay. me? Take everything. <laughs> I literally just started like a few... Oh, did you? Ashwood did Bowl. Go. My pride and joy. Take care of it. I will. Hey, tell my story. Yeah, whose story is this? Grey Wolf Hat. Well, be sure to remember that. You know it. Remember me, you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to have. I'm gonna have to censor so much now. Have fun. Thank you. <laughs> See you on quest, baby. Well, that was interesting. This was very un unexpected. I yeah, it was. And he gave me nothing just because he was new. So now we are on attempt two of the orders back. I just really hope this works. All right, I hope you guys are ready for this. Uh, you look like you're about to break. That's not going to be good, but um, at least our leather won't break every after. <sighs> Couldn't tell I'm getting anxious about it. You know, he's going again another time, but you never know. Oh, 
two. Damn. What do we next? The leather? Was this a leather strip? Leather strip. Oh, hi. You scared me. Hello. Um, everybody, we got our mate here. The, uh, our provider for the leather piece, so he might actually have helped us continue our journey into getting this bag. And last time, this was the piece that we had trouble with, so let's really hope that we don't lose this one. Alright, here we go. Oh my god, I can't believe we did it. We did it. You know what, everybody, I'm going to give you guys a first-person perspective so you can kind of get a better visual on this. Because you're only getting one side, especially when the nails start going out the back. Alright, so I need six for this. I had to make a bit of a run. I had to go get more buckles. These ones are going to be different. They're going to be more in the middle though. Uh, so that there's some sort of color. Why are you losing it? My non-existent OCD is going to go ballistic. Okay, so I had to go and uh, make a couple more of these buckles because somebody here was having a bit of an OCD issue. And if he is an example of somebody who's going to have that issue, then I'll be sure for any of you who are like that as well. I will make it all uh, red buckles, red iron. So that's how it's going to be. Let's go. We're getting really close. Really close. Here we go. Ow. Um, besides that noise, look at what we got. <laughs> oh, this is perfect. So the most part that we're going to have to do for it is because now we have the fur bag. You can see the space in there. It's a four by four. It's better than this, which is a three by three. Um, but yeah we're gonna be able to carry more stuff now but obviously we're gonna be slower so it's gonna take more time to get around places but with this one compared to this one you can see how it has two pockets this one can carry four four pockets of any type and i'll explain the 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 um the pockets before i end the video here but for the most of this we did finish the main part so all we have to do now is start transferring all that stuff from here into here look at that that is a nice good size bag right there and now we're gonna just put some pockets on you know what? yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna max out we're not done yet we still got more to do let's go and see the pockets okay pocket number one pocket number one is your simple pocket and that's the one we use for those uh gives you two extra slots and it's not very costly so that'll be nice to have that one is gonna be probably my most common attachment um, but let's keep going with it. To this part, I think this is a bow ring. So you could put a bow or a weapon on the side of your bag. Um, that way you can just kind of grab from it and then immediately have it rather than having it in your pockets. And this might be something we want to have. Um, we could put potion. So this is a potion ring. So every time that we're doing the cooking, if you're ever doing cooking, um, you want this. So you have flasks full of certain potions. We actually might not need it since we got another gourd, so we'll have an extra two slots to uh, put anything else in. But yeah, if you ever want to carry around bottles of anything, then that's your guy. Um, pocket 3 is a specific one. These are actually made specifically for certain things. 
This one is a food one. So you can only store plants and food in this pocket now when you get it. Um, and he uses that same mad stuff. I think a mate was asking me about it. I think it's that stuff right there. That stuff is what you, that is. And you're going to need at least one of those. And that's for food. Then you got your ore pocket. I do have one of these in a, another server. This is so you can carry much more stacks. And that's what it does. They carry more stacks of food than they usually would. So like if you have a pocket with copper in it. Or even coal. It'll probably max out to 100 then stop. If you have one of these pockets they'll go to like 150 to 200. So these will be handy if you're um, mining out in the deepest parts of the dips. Um, oh, that's you. Your different thing. That's that. But yeah, in case you ever need that, that might be useful. It's definitely going to be useful for me, so you might as well get one of those too. This one's a log one, it just carries on the back of your bag, that way you can carry more logs with you. I've never actually seen anybody use this one, but if you are a particular one who wants to be a little bit different in the game, this one might be for you. And that was all the pockets, so obviously we're going to need to start off first. We're going to start with our ores one, that way we can... You know what I forgot? I could just take those two. I could just take those apart and then put it on my bag. I'm going to set that there, and I think we have the materials here. If we don't, nope, I got that, got that, and sticks should be outside. Yep, we should have enough. Okay, this should be done in a, in a jiffy. So let's go ahead and just collect the resources we need. Start putting them together. So it's these two right here. You got your mats, and then you got your rope. I always thought that there was some sort of like some sort of um, chicken mush, but it wasn't. Oh, spiegel. Sorry, spiegel. Um, but, uh, well, I know the space is crazy. Um, let's go ahead and put our food away, because we need some light over here. And then our final mat. And then there we go. I think. Does that work? Oh, yeah, there we go. Alright, let's go ahead and put the bag on. So to do that, we stick our bag here, and then we choose wherever we want it. I feel like for ores, um, I was having an issue with my bag on the other server before, so I think I'm going to keep that close to the front. Whoops. And to do that, you just stick it next to it, connect it, and then you hammer it in like you would anything else. Now it's part of the back. And as for these, because these are still pretty good um, pockets to have, you can actually just bring them up to this rack here and pop the pockets off. That's all it takes. And then you can throw that one out, put that back on, and then stick it where the sun don't shine. Now we just gotta craft one more. Okay, as for this one, this one should be quick. But I'm gonna do the um, dark one. We need to bring in a third guy to, uh, to break the tie. Right, everybody, we got ourselves a full hoarder's bag. You guys saw the 4x4, four four, so every pocket contains a two extra, so in total, we have um, 24 spaces and obviously two is specific but um, this is going to allow us to carry up so much stuff. We actually now can start crafting other tools like an axe or if we wanted to a better bow, anything like that. And look at all the, look at all the space that we had before. All of this stuff and the stuff in my belt right now all fit in that one tiny bag that I had before and now we have five extra spaces here plus an additional eight that's 13 extra spaces get yourself a hoarder's bag if you want um they will weigh you down after a certain time if you don't let go of some stuff but overall it's probably the best option to have because you never know what you're going to run into and well you might need to take with you so um i'll put this on it's mine now and yeah thank you all for being here
um, working on this big old bag has been quite the effort ever since we almost messed up that first time it's finally done now we have a finally a uh, large bag in this survey and I'm glad about it I'm so happy about it and um, you can actually thank um, what's your name uh, death shadow 341 he actually provided the leather for it you good me of my cringy username. You can always change it, can't you? Probably, but that requires work. But yeah, everybody, um, if you ever need help with anything, um, this is a, uh, one place you can do it. Always ask me questions, I usually be able to provide. Um, there is a specific video that's going to be coming out later on that I have planned. Um, it's not particularly part of the real game, but um, yeah, so I'll explain more as the videos come out and you'll see it as it. So thank you all for watching. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful day and goodbye.